Top 6 Best Sony Cameras in 2024 Hello guys, today in this video we are going to help you to find out the best Sony cameras in market. I made this list based on my personal opinion and I tried to list them based on their quality, durability, customer review and more. If you want to see their price and find out more information about them you can check our links in the description below. And like comment share this video, subscribe our channel. Thank you. Number 6. Sony A7 IV. How do you better one of the best cameras of all time? Well, that was the question that Sony had to answer with the A7 IV. The Sony A7 III was a force to be reckoned with, pushing camera technology ahead for the time and leaving everyone else playing catch-up, and why the A7 III is still included on this list. The Sony A7 IV might be Sony's vanilla A7 model, offering an entry point to full-frame mirrorless, but there's nothing ordinary about the Sony A7 IV. It technically supersedes the A7 III in almost every way, with more resolution, faster speed, better autofocus, and tracking algorithms. Overall it's just an altogether more advanced camera which, I think, targets a higher level audience. The Sony A7 IV doesn't have any one particular focus, instead offering a jack-of-all-trades camera, leaving Sony's R models to add resolution and the S models to add speed slash sensitivity. However, this means that the A7 IV is the perfect camera for a huge variety of creators who don't specialize in one area and instead want a camera that is just at home shooting a landscape as a portrait, or hybrid shooters who value high-resolution stills as much as quality 4K video. Number 5. Sony A7R V. Technically overwhelming, physically underwhelming, that's how the A7R V feels. The camera body feels too small, or not tall enough in the body, for the big pro lenses you'll be using with it, and the controls follow a generic layout rather than being adapted to this camera's strengths. You can customize the buttons endlessly to suit the way you work, but that takes time and also a good memory for which button you've customized to do what. Technically, the A7RV is stunning. With 61 megapixels paired with new AI subject recognition AF is remarkable, both for its rapid identification and acquisition and its very sticky tracking. The image quality is every bit as good as that of the A7R4 before it, Sony says it's better, and the bigger buffer makes the A7RV much more effective for prolonged burst shooting. Number 4. Sony A7 III. It might not have the blinding speed of Sony's Top Flight A9 II or the ultra-high resolution of the A7R4, but the Sony A7 III grabs many of the best bits from these pricier models and delivers them in a more affordable package. Headline features include a highly effective 696-point AF system and a 5-axis image stabilization system that promises 5 EV of compensation. There's a 24.2 MP back-illuminated image sensor, coupled with the latest generation of the image processor, and the two deliver excellent tonal range and make super-high ISO settings possible. Handling is good, though some may find the body a little small when paired with pro lenses, which applies across the alpha range. For the top performance at a sensible price, we think it's the best-priced Sony camera out there, though for stills photographers the older Sony A7 II is also very tempting, and cheaper. Rod is an independent photography journalist and editor, and a long-standing digital camera world contributor, having previously worked as DCW's group reviews editor. Before that he has been technique editor on Enphoto, head of testing for the photography division and camera channel editor on TechRadar, as well as contributing to many other publications. He has been writing about photography technique, photo editing and digital cameras since they first appeared, and before that began his career writing about film photography. He has used and reviewed practically every interchangeable lens camera launched in the past 20 years, from entry-level DSLRs to medium-format cameras, together with lenses, tripods, gimbals, light meters. Number 3. Sony A1. The Sony A1 is everything that Sony says it is. It's a technological triumph, a camera that really can do everything and one of the best cameras for professionals. Previously, cameras might offer speed, resolution, or video capability, but the A1 offers all three, and even beats dedicated sports and video cameras at their own game. So is this the perfect camera? Not quite. The price is and will remain, a significant obstacle, 
and its appeal is limited to photographers who need everything it does, not just one or two of those things. This, together with its vast price, prevents it from being further up our list. We couldn't have an article about the best Sony cameras without mentioning the A1, but would we recommend it as the best one to buy? Realistically, for 99 photographers out of 100, probably not. More recently, the Sony A1's position has been eroded by the arrival of the Nikon Z9 and Canon EOS R5C, both of which are cheaper. Number 2. Sony ZV-E1. The ZV-E1 is an excellent vlogging camera, it is small, compact, and lightweight while packing in some incredible features like an image-stabilized full-frame sensor and subject recognition and auto-tracking straight out of the Sony A7RV. The camera is also incredibly simple and intuitive to use, so is perfect for anyone wanting professional-looking footage without knowing a lot about cameras. Video footage is excellent, sharp, clear, and with good color direct from the camera, stills are also fantastic quality, although are limited by the 12MP sensor. The latest autofocus tracking from Sony is a sight to behold, especially for human subjects, it is incredibly fast and accurate, with its AI powers meaning you don't have to worry about focus and can think about other aspects of filming. The ZV-E1 is almost miraculously small, with dimensions so compact that you forget there is a large image-stabilized full-frame sensor sitting at the center. Primarily a vlogging camera, the 4K video output is excellent, although getting useful handheld footage does require a significant crop. Where the camera really shines is its subject recognition and tracking features, which are probably the best out there right now. Still images are also very good, but top out at 12MP, so have limited use. Where the ZV-E1 loses me is in its purpose, with so many similarly capable video cameras on the market, including from within Sony's own range, you really have to value the compact size and specific use case for this camera. Number 1. Sony A6700 The Sony A6700 represents a logical progression from its predecessor, the A6600, but I wasn't blown away by the improvements when I reviewed it. The A6700 maintains the compact rangefinder-style APS-C camera design from prior models but incorporates some notable and welcome improvements in button layout, however, I still found the camera was still a little cramped and hard to hold with larger lenses. Although, if you are happy to settle for Sony's smaller but slower lenses, then they are a much better balance for the A6700. But for hybrid stills and video shooters seeking a compact camera with a viewfinder, the A6700 stands out as my preferred choice among Sony's APS-C lineup, and a much better choice over Sony's similar ZV range of cameras. The A6700 delivers an exceptional stills experience with an improved resolution, better tracking, and faster speeds. While its advancements in 4K video recording and integration of AI autofocus technology from Sony's more powerful and pricey cameras further position the A6700 as a compelling option. Despite a higher starting price compared to the previous generation, positioning it as relatively more expensive than some competitors, the A6700 offers a lot for the money and emerges as one of the top choices for travel photographers and content creators who prioritize professional features within a compact form factor. The Sony A6700 is a logical upgrade from the A6600, offering a compact rangefinder-style APS-C camera with some design refinements and jumps in technology. The biggest selling points are for hybrid shooters who want a compact camera but still want a viewfinder, as the A6700 has become the new Sony APS-C camera to buy for the best stills, but the leaps forward in 4K 120p video recording, IBIS, and the latest in AI autofocus make this a compelling alternative to Sony's ZV lineup. The A6700 is a little pricey when compared to the competition. But overall, the A6700 is one of the best options for hybrid travel photographers or content creators that crave professional features in a compact package. This is the top 6 best Sony cameras in 2024. Please make sure to subscribe our channel for these kind of information. Thanks for watching.